Hello? You still there? Is that a joke? Yeah. Well, you're improving. What's up? Oh, nothing. I mean, just wanted to say, you got everything you need to have a smooth night. But you should take a look at the main power system. You know, no one's been up there since... Leonard's death. Uh, five days might not seem like much, but the Timberline has an age. I don't know. When I lived here, I was only a kid. I can barely find the bathroom. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> like, at least I won't wet myself? Um, no. I, I didn't mean... Don't blush, kid. I was just kidding. Oh, <laughs> I just... I'll call if I need you. Irving? It's me again, obviously. I could really use a shower. Sure. You'll just need to turn on the furnace for the hot water. Oh, my mom never wanted me to go down there, but I love that place. Full of little spiders. A real country bumpkin. <laughs> oh, I was a pest. Now, I think I even forgot how to get there. I forgot almost everything about this hotel. Funny, right? People forget what hurts, I think. Never enough, Irving. Never enough. Yeah. Well, furnaces are always in the basement. You won't have trouble finding it. Is there something else I should know, like, to survive? Well, I don't expect a five-star menu. Oh, really? Uh, you could survive for months with what's in the pantry. Let me guess. Canned beans, right? Bean soup, baked beans, potatoes and beans, bean broth. <laughs> Starving suddenly seems like an acceptable option. Irving? Are you at the furnace? He's waiting for me. He's down there. What? Uh, who? Old farting ghost! Wait, what did you say? Old farting... <laughs> I used to hide down there with hotel guest kids and wait for old farting ghost to come and get us. Farting... the furnace? <laughs> yeah. When Leonard found out, he almost choked laughing. Your father laughed about stuff like that? Yeah. Well, that's long gone. How's it going? It looks real... complicated. Furnaces are all the same. Can you see the control panel? Uh, I guess? 
What does the pressure gauge read? Huh? The thing that looks like a clock. Looks like... 220? Oh. I don't like the sound of... Oh. It should be more like 210 PSI. Pressure's building. You saying I have a choice between freezing or blowing up? <laughs> no. Push the green button. It's the starter. Old farting ghost, you rank spirit! Wake up! Huh? Nothing. Just talking to an old friend. Top shape, I'd say. <laughs> you were right. The furnace is haunted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now you've got hot water. You have no idea how grateful I am. Just doing my job. Give me some good news. Uh, just letting you know that the rooms will heat up before the hallways. I just want to go to bed. Did you find a room you feel comfortable in? Yeah, my old room. It's exactly like I left it. Leonard cleaned it, but he didn't touch a thing. Same as you left it? Exactly. How does that make you feel? They teach psych classes at FEMA. Well, just being nice. It's endearing, but I'm not 16 anymore. There's lots of other rooms in the hotel. No. I think I'll sleep just fine. Okay. Irving Crawford, FEMA. Hey. Hey! Listen, I just wanted to say, if I came across as obnoxious... No problemo. <laughs> I get it. It almost feels like I'm getting used to being here again. Whatever. Forget it, I'm beat, and I'm rambling. No, no, I... From the rumors that went around the valley about when you left the hotel, and all that rush, well... Right, I forgot. The Wilsonian mythology. Sorta. Now I'm just gonna chill in my room with the posters of my favorite bands, playing my old bass, totally unplugged. You play the bass? I suck. I wanted to thank you. Knowing that I'm not alone here is a huge deal. Yeah, well, uh, thank you for um, listening and not freezing to death in your car. So I owe you my life, then. Wow. It's just... Your job. I know. Night. Night. Morning. Good morning, Nicole. <sighs> Get any sleep? I slept like a rock. I forgot my bed was so comfy. <sighs> so, any news? Uh, uh, what? Is the situation on the roads any better? 
Just uh, give me a sec to get it together. Maybe I need some coffee. I didn't get any shot eye last night and... Wait, you didn't sleep? Like, at all? I thought you might need something and... But I... You didn't go home? Because of me? I'm a workaholic. So, uh, meteorologists are predicting a peak real soon, probably tonight. Uh, you can't move, not just yet. In theory, uh, what do you want to do? I'm not ready for this kind of news at the crack of dawn. I'll eat, and then I'll think about it. It's time for you to take a tour of the pantry. Deal. I could eat a horse right now. The baked beans will be scrumptious. Nicole? Irving. Uh, how long has it been since someone's inspected the pantry? Inspected? You mean stocked? I'd just like to know if I should choose between malnutrition and food poisoning. There'll be tons of things to eat. Mm. Oh, definitely no mice or roaches. Pretty sure about that. I was thinking more like mold, bacteria and such. Uh, you'll see. There's nothing to worry about. For a while I hid an ant farm in the closet. I think Leonard suggested it. One morning, my bed was swarming with ants. You must have freaked out. My mother did. The ant farm ended up straight in the trash. Your career as an entomologist nipped in the bud. Didn't think I still remembered all these little things. Huh. There's some food, but it looks moldy. Weird. I didn't expect that. Uh, there's a freezer. Take a look there. Okay. Hey, you kidding? Uh, I 
almost forgot. There might be a problem with the fridge door. Just make sure it doesn't close. Are you close. fucking with me? No. Wait, what did I say? It would have been more useful to know that before I got locked in. Oh, holy shit. I'm a freaking space cadet. Yeah. I could have died in there. Uh-huh. Sorry to interrupt your continental breakfast. Uh, I got a hold of Mr. Jenkins, the attorney. About time. When's he getting here? He tried to make it. His car ended up in a ditch between York Road and Valley. Oh, come on. He called 911 after just a mile. Well, I might as well finish the inspection. I can do it without Jenkins. Uh, he told me to give you a message. Here it is. He says to... Hmm. This is a swear word, and you don't need to hear it. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nicole, at this point, start assessing the general conditions of the hotel on your own. Uh, jot down what you want to keep. I recommend you start with the second floor. It's surely the most damaged. Please, only call me if you've got good news. There's some serious water stains on the second floor. That floor is pretty run down. There's some windows missing and water damage, too. Yeah.
From what I can see, I can't rule out serious damage. A refurbishment was scheduled, but they never finished. Here I am. Uh, what's up? The hallway on the second floor is cut off. The door to the west wing is locked. Your father started renovations, but he didn't get the bank loan and had to stop. Leonard's attic is at the end of the hallway. His man cave. Does that... mean something to you? I tried so hard to forget about that room for years. Anyway, uh, the west wing is pretty run down after all this time with no windows. Hello? You there? You always have an answer to everything. What do you mean? I've joked about it, but it's not funny anymore. I don't understand, Nicole. You know how to turn on the furnace. You know where to find food, and that the fridge door is busted. You know my family's story and the hotels. It's up to FEMA to deliver the supplies to isolated places like the Timberline. I've been up there with the truck every month since I've been on duty. Is something wrong? How should I have known that, huh? I don't know. I, I don't know what you know and what you don't know. Uh, what difference does it make? None. I... I'm sorry if I upset you. No one can upset me. I better keep doing the inspection. Yeah. Hello? This is Nicole. Leonard's daughter. Who is this? Listen, don't sell her hotel. Who the hell are you? Rachel is still there. Don't sell the hotel. <sighs> is this a joke? Who is this? You're gonna pay for this lame-ass joke. I have a phone, a cell phone, I'm talking with FEMA, and I'm gonna get them to call the sheriff. You pissed at me? I don't have time to rehash my past with you. I've got a different problem. Someone just called the hotel. What? Who? Who gets their kicks out of crank calling me? Well, your word gets around pretty fast. Uh, what did they say? They said, Rachel is alive. Don't sell the hotel. <sighs> Idiot. There's something else that doesn't make sense. The phone lines are down. Leonard stopped paying the bill months ago. I'll ask someone to run a check. Unbelievable. I mean, with the storm, the closed roads, and people croaking and all, someone has nothing better to do than bust my balls? Around these parts, time passes in a different way. Some stories seem like they've been forgotten, but actually they just sink down. 
sink down? Like tea leaves in a cup. I think I get it, almost. That girl's death. Rachel. It was the result of painful events, and now it's someone's obsession. You talking about anyone in particular? Well, her death ruined two families that everyone looked up to. Yours and Rachel's. Your father, McGrath, the genius astrophysicist. And Rachel's father, the upstanding Reverend Foster, known all over the county. <laughs> Not something easy to forget around here. You know what I think? They can go get fucked, every one of them. I know what we went through. No one else. Fuck them! Hey, cutie pie. Daddy? Nicole, it's Irving. Oh, <sighs> sorry. I must have fallen asleep. I haven't slept like that since I was a kid. You had a tough day yesterday. I think I had a dream. About? I, I don't remember. Okay, uh, I need you to pay attention, though. Should I worry? The storm brought down some power lines. There are blackouts all over. Oh, I wonder why that doesn't surprise me. The electricity generator could go bust. I don't like the idea of you up there on your own in the dark. We need to do something. My electrical know-how is slightly limited. It's okay. I can guide you to the emergency generator. If we activate it, you'll be self-sufficient. That's it? Uh, there are two ways of getting to the circuit breaker. Straight through the garage's side door, or from the floor you're on. But? The garage side door is stuck. You'll have to pass through the crawl space along the entire building and climb down from your floor. If the power goes out, you'll be completely in the dark. All right. What do I have to do? Uh, check the closet in your father's apartment and see if he left anything you can use for lighting. Oh. On my way. Oh, look at that! I thought I lost you that time the Thompson girl came to play. Leonard must have found you someplace. Oh, the key's missing. Well, maybe better that way. Any news? I found a Polaroid. Family photo? Anything important? No, I mean a camera. It looks like it works. You want to take a photo of the generator? No, you moron. I was thinking of using the flash for lighting. Oh, smart. You can try. I wonder who this belonged to? Leonard, maybe? Some client probably left it. You can't imagine what people leave in hotels. Oh, I could tell you about the rubber friend that Mr. Rochford's widow left here in 82. Mayor Linden's kids and I used it as a miniature Indian totem pole for the whole summer. It was a huge scandal. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, yep. Anyway, the Polaroid's better than nothing. The light from the flash could come in handy. 